I'm not under fire. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Is there any way? Do you see any burning flames around me? <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not. What was what, what was it in South Africa? I'm not. I'm not an I'm I'm good. I'm good. I always good. I'm a child of the revolution. I've been many things, many things in the past, and I'm around, and I'll be around. Not this attempt to compress four years, five years of an election into into in, into a succession issue right now. Succession is not the primary purpose of why he was elected in 2023. He was elected to fulfill the mandate of prosperity for Zimbabwe. And that's what our president is focused on. Don't try to make us compress the time from 28 to 2023. We are too busy running the country to be bothered about succession issues at this juncture. That's what he's doing. He's busy running the country to fulfill the mandate and the issue of succession is really the last thing on his banner. Why does he want to be succeeded when he's just won an election and the electorate is given a mandate? Why would he be people? It doesn't make sense. You understand? You've just been minted in the boardroom and then you are being told that this is, we want your success. It doesn't make, does it make sense? It doesn't, I'm talking like this is a boardroom. So please spare us the, 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 the verbiage about succession issues. The president is fulfilling the mandate of his 2023 August elections. is out of our table right now. We are concerned with fulfilling the mandate of 20. We will not compress the time of 2028 to 2023. Five years is a long time in the history of parties, and in the history of human beings. Let's deal with the five years of his president rather than five years of his succession. <laughs> We cannot answer to the assertions of people who are not party members, who are just uh, publishing letters out of their whims. We can't answer to that. Uh, if the president wants anything, he comes and he brings it to this building, to his political to his central committee, and eventually to his Congress. That's what the president does. We have not discussed that issue at that level. So I can know we have no reason to to fund frames or something which is not on the agenda of the parties at the present time. You see, I want to repeat, the president just won an election last year in August. He won a term for five years. The next election is 28 in, in 2028. Right now, he is occupied with filling the mandate of the manifesto of the past election, which is doing excellently in many more ways than one. You know, you will be happy to know that just last week, the test, test, commis the test commissioning of the blast furnace has begun at Manize. We are in our second week, second week of technical tests. It's working very well. Uh, we have uh, uh, our Mozambique relationship is, just, is being rejuvenated by the advent of a young Keda as the party candidate in Mozambique. And he is reaching out to his counter to, to, to the counterpart leadership in ZANU PF and to the so that you know we work together to see how Mozambique succeeds in the coming elections so that Frelimo and, and ZANU PF can solidify their relationship. Yeah, these are the issues. The president has just been to Nairobi where he's talking of fertilizer for the African continent. You know, the, the, there's just so much which is on the table of the president. He's, uh, looking at how we can increase our gold production in the country so that the zig, which is anchored in gold, can be supported by gold, which is pleasing because the price of gold has jumped from $1,700 per ounce in the last three years to $2,400 per ounce. And that is the support of the zig. So the more gold we dig, the, the more we, we, we support our zig. These are the issues which are preoccupied, are preoccupying our president.